Hello everyone. So now we see some graphs, important graphs in atomic structure. Okay. So first, uh, see the graphs related to the Moseley's equation. So you know what is the Moseley's equation? That is. Uh, Mosley's equation. So now we see some graphs related to Mosley's equation or Mosley's expression. So where we get the this topic, uh, the Mosley equation is the topic relates uh, the introducing of atomic numbers. Based on Mosley's experiment. On his experiment, he given an equation that was root nu is equal to a into z minus b. So this is the Mosley's uh, equation, which represents his experiment. Here nu equals frequency of X-rays. So just we are uh, writing only graph, not to the total matter. New indicates the uh, frequency. Here a comma b or constants. What is z? So actually it is the number of protons, and we know it is as atomic number. Okay, and uh, we can draw different graphs. Different graphs, sorry, with this equation. First, uh, general graph root nu on y axis. On the y axis, root nu. On the x axis, we are taking z minus b. On the y axis, what is it? Root frequency. On the x axis, z minus b. So remaining what a? So it is in the form of y is equal to mx. Means this equation root mu is equal to a into z minus b is equation like y is equal to mx. So y is equal to mx is an equation of a straight line passing through the origin. So what will be the character graph between a root mu and z minus b? Y is equal to mx. M is here indicates the slope. There is no intercept, so it will be like this. So, what is the slope? Okay, this tan theta value is called the slope. Okay, d y by d x. Here, the slope is in the place of the m, which is present the constant a. So, that is the slope. Okay, this is one graph. Uh, okay, related to. Mosley's equation. We try to make some more graphs. Our nine, we can uh, take uh, change it like this. In the place of new, we can write uh, what is new value in terms of lambda. New is equal to C by lambda that is a into z minus b. So made it one by root lambda. Uh, root C comes to here. Okay. Okay. This is also gives in some questions. Now take one by root lambda on y-axis. Actually, these are the different questions from different exams. So how they got this type of graphs? We are taking that expressions here. Okay. Means these expressions are taken by different quotients. One by root lambda on the y-axis. On the x-axis, again z minus b. So what will be the shape of the graph? So this is a by root c. C is we know the speed of light. A is the constant. 
constant by constant constant means it is in the form of again y is equal to mx and the y axis 1 by root lambda it's okay on the x axis that is z minus b it is okay the remaining part exactly similar to the m means it is equal to y is equal to mx form this equation is similar to the y is equal to mx form which represents a straight line indication passing through the origin so it is also having a graph like this and again what is the slope here slope in the place of m which is present a by root c here slope is a by root c okay so this is uh, one graph we okay, take this equation also now there is some other question is also there based on this most less equation that is there here root new here we are taking different choices of most less equation root new is equal multiplying to inside minus ab ab a constant b constant so this also can be taken as one of the equation for giving graphs so take uh, root nu on the y axis okay and take uh, z z on the x axis now what is what will be its shape okay what will be its shape on the y axis root nu is present x axis z is present the remaining part in the place of m sorry in the place of c that is minus ab present in the place of m a is present means it is just like y is equal to mx minus c okay obviously here c is equal to minus b nothing but it is just like y is equal to minus c so we know y is equal to mx equation is y is equal to mx this equation represents the straight line passing through the origin with m slope i can here also y x what is the slope m in the place of m what is present a slope is a but what is the intercept is there the c is called constant intercept that is negative ab so this indicates the line should be like this for this equation the line should be like this okay here theta equal must be generally 45 degrees so this is x what is will be the slope of this graph slope is to how much that is a now what is the intercept intercept is how much that is ab on this axis okay that is called intercept intercept is equal to minus ab okay these are the main three graphs uh, related to the most less equation so there may be some more graphs related to this but you must perfect uh, the basic basic equation and how to write the graphs okay now we see other graphs next graphs related to photoelectric effect
so what is photoelectric equation h nu is equal h nu naught plus kinetic energy this is the basic uh, equation for that now there is some drops there we know the kinetic energy and frequency frequency means this is a positive frequency nu naught means a threshold frequency this is kinetic energy so here important as frequency increases and if uh, if you want to get this graph you must know about uh, something uh, about this concept in this concept uh, we discussed that as the frequency we pass on the surface of the metal if you pass a beam of light on the surface of the metal electrons are ejected but it required minimum frequency and it can compute light in minimum frequency undali that is called the nu naught the man pump it in light nu beam launch electron tc and it required minimum frequency of light that is nu naught man pump it in light frequency nu if both are equal then only electron will ejects if nu is greater than nu naught then electron ejection takes place and put electrons uh, electron kinetic energy improve over okay but the pitch of frequency value must be more than nu naught and the sort of no pitch frequency of light just then use out there just for the ejection of electron use out there then kinetic energy improve over and nu naught can take that is a frequency value means so the graph is exactly like this okay here very important one it is that this right is straight line okay and like so what is i can guess this value as the frequency increases kinetic energy increases but not at first if new value reaches nu naught so after reaching nu naught value and mana metal eject electron eject avadanki enta frequency pampala anta frequency pampichina tarata danikante extra frequency degane ejection avasaru the kinetic energy of electron increases no exactly nu naught ante energy pampichesthe only eject electron eject avutundi kinetic energy zero avutundi okay here it indicates if nu is equal to nu naught kinetic energy is zero if nu greater than nu naught so its kinetic energy increases we are talking about the kinetic energy of electrons okay and if you want to get the number of more electrons just increase the intensity intensity and the number of electrons i can hear also same as intensity increases number of electron increases after some frequency so it is also like this okay. so next uh, we can write uh, to another graph about current c on y axis and uh, x axis i that is known as intensity here intensity intensity of photon and the graph will be like this means uh, as the current increases intensity of the photon also increases okay hmm. 
Now see the graphs based on uh, Bohr's atomic model. Okay. So we know that uh, Niels Bohr given many expressions to calculate the different uh, properties that is radius, energy, velocity, angular momentum, Rydberg constant. So based on the, the equations, uh, we can draw some graphs. Okay. See the potential energy on the x-axis, y-axis, and then. Uh, 1 by n here n means number of orbit we know that as the number of orbit increases its potential energy decreases ok here it is 1 by n so that is exactly gives uh, potential energy yes potential energy increases okay as the distance increases from the nucleus potential energy increases okay here we take uh, 1 by n that's why its potential energy decreases so next Let's take a radius on the y axis, n square on the x axis. And we know the expression radius equal how much? 0 0.529 n square angstroms. How it is? It is just like y is equal mx. y on the uh, x, y axis radius, x axis n square. So this is the slope means the graph will be like this and here what is the slope the slope means dy by dx dy by dx is called slope nothing but tan theta here what is the slope 0 0.529 angstroms ok or you can say what is the slope uh, in terms of uh, 5 to 9 into 10 power minus 8 centimeter. So, this will be helpful in some problems also. Okay. Next, energy of electron present in an nth orbit and 1 by n square. So, we know the different equations of uh, energy are generally e proportional to minus 1 by n square. Okay, there is some value will be there. Minus 1 by n square. Here 1 by n square. So how it is? So by using E is equal to some constant by n square. Okay, how it is on the y axis energy on the x axis that is 1 by n square. Then what is remaining? Minus k means that is minus m means it is just like uh, y is equal to minus mx just now we discussed it uh, y is equal to mx is a straight line passing through the origin with the positive slope but here it is y is equal to minus x, mx minus x mx means uh, so it must be negative slope Okay. Now there are also some equation the velocity and number of orbits. 
So based on the equation, we can we will get a graph like this. Okay. So actually here it is v proportional to one by n. Okay. So there is some controversy. So uh, based on this graph. Okay. In some books it is given in some some somewhat different graph. Okay. This it is only the controversial one. So remaining ones are perfect. And in some crops, uh, there is a comparison is there. So this is total distribution curves. So the questions on probability distribution curves. So for example, if you take a a probability distribution curve, there is a capital D probability factor, there is a radial probability, radial probability distribution curves, your radius. If the diagram is like this, it represents which orbitals? It represents which orbitals? So what is the possible answer for it? So I will give you some options. A represents one is. A represents two is. A represents two p. Or three d. Four p. Four f. Five. So this identify this graphs related to which orbitals. Here we not mentioned uh, any value here. Just we are giving one curve is present. So one peak is present. One peak present in which orbitals? For one s orbital. So below one s there is no s orbitals. It starts from s orbital. So one graph, one curve. Two s. 2s is the it take uh, it consists one s 2s mean 2x contain two graphs it is not 2p okay for 2p below 2p there is no p are there means it is also belongs to 2p 3d s because below 3d there is no d are present 2d only one d only so 3d only one curve is starting curve is below first curve so 4p 4p non possible 4p consists of 2p and 3p. 2p, 3p, 4p. So 4f. So it is the starting one 4. So it is also correct one. Okay. Yes, it is also correct. 5d. 5d contains 3d, 4d, 5d. So now what are the answers? So what are the answers? The 1s is correct one. 2p is correct one. If 3d is also correct one, 3d correct. 4f is correct. So this type of question is generally given in a uh, match the following questions. Uh, this we see one more question uh, related to this. Given three curves, it represents which graphs? Sorry, it this graph represents which orbitals? Here three curves are present, so it may be now directly we are writing the answers, not uh, giving any options. It will not be one is two is. For S, it is starting from 1, 1 is, 2 is, 3 is. 
3s. Yes. For t, it starts from 2p. That is 2p, 3p, 4p. 4p. For d, it starts from 3d only. 3d, 4d, 5. Okay. So these are the possibilities. Ah, if you take for 4f, 4f, 5f, 6f, generally 6f is not generally varied in the configurations. If you take, take if you can take, you can write the answer. 4f, 5f, 6f. It is also not a wrong one. Okay, means so this graph related to all these arbitrals. Okay. So these are the different questions. Uh, and different formulas in atomic structure. So maximum we covered the all topics and all formulas, graphs and different concepts in atomic structure. So maybe from tomorrow or onwards, maybe one day later, we start the new chapter. But tomorrow I will provide you a worksheet. Okay. Just uh, take a question. So this graph represents uh, which orbitals? Which one does? You have to write the solution. Okay. 